So I'm pretty sure it's been about 24 hours since I've got the iPhone 15 Pro Max. But for, for this video, I'm going to call it the iPhone 15 Pro Meh. Because it's kind of meh. I mean, besides, besides the fact that it's got a, that it finally has USB-C. And it's slimmer. Slimmer uh, this way. Let me get closer to the camera. It's skinnier than the iPhone 13 Pro Max. And it runs a little smoother. It's kind of meh. It's just an iPhone. I mean, the Dynamic Island is cool. I mean... Apple needs to just get rid of the notch instead of trying to be innovative. They need to just copy Samsung, just get rid of the notch, get a stylus. I don't care what Steve Jobs said. I don't care what Steve Jobs said. Forget what Steve Jobs said. I want a stylus with the iPhone. I want a stylus. I want it to go inside the iPhone, like the Samsung. Oh, and there's no foldable phone. Let me pull up my notes. Yeah, no stylus. There's no stylus. We don't need, the Apple Pencil is cool, but I don't want a stylus that's bigger than my iPhone to go with my iPhone. Mm -mm. There's no foldable iPhone. There's no iPhone Ultra. Like the rumors said there were going to be. Uh, I mean, in, on the topic of foldable phones, if Apple was so hesitant on, on switching to Lightning, their excuse was when they were fighting the European Union, their excuse was that switching to USB-C would create more e-waste because everybody, everybody would be throwing away their old Lightning cables and that would create e-waste, which to me is a good argument, but... I mean, what they could have done is they could have made a foldable phone and they could have put USB-C and a lightning cable. A USB-C port and a lightning port to help people transition from USB from lightning to USB-C. You know, that's something they could do. And these companies, if they're worried about e-waste, then they should be making their electronic devices out of materials that they can take apart, that they, they, they can disassemble and melt down and reuse. If they were smart, but they're not smart, I should be in charge. And the rumors, but we, we all know who, who that is, the rumors said that there was going to be an iPhone Ultra there's no iPhone Ultra. So, I don't know. Like, like I think iPhone, I mean, Apple, I think they're controlling the rumors. I think they're telling people, telling these, these rumor people to say one thing just so they can turn around and, and release something else. So, because they don't want us to know what's coming out. If, if that makes if that makes sense because I'm I'm tired I don't know, I'm tired of the rumors saying what the, I'm looking out the window because there's storms coming and you know, I swear every time I try to record a storm it disappears the storm's gone it's it's uh, uh, the storm will come I'll turn on my camera and then it stops because uh, I Anyway, the, I don't know. The, uh, I, I just, I, I quit listening to rumors about tech because they're always wrong. Or just, you know, like, tech people are just really weird. They are just...
They they are just like tech people are just they just crawl up them companies just they just crawl right up them companies butts and just just smell their just just they are just into it and and they will tell you whatever and they just and it annoys me. They're just they're too into what they're into and they're they're wrong half the time and they overhype stuff which is why I I stopped listening I, I stopped watching reviews on video games and and rumors on video games cuz everybody overhypes the hell out of everything and then the game is released unfinished everything's just overhyped overwhelmed and comes out unfinished and bleh and meh so yeah, it's just another iPhone. I mean, again, I'm glad we have USB-C. But still, it's it's just a meh phone. It's the iPhone 15 Pro meh. Because it's meh. There, there's lots of things you could do with the phone. And we, we still don't have themes. Like, I, I don't think we're ever going to get themes for our phone or a theme store because that's what Samsung does. Samsung has a theme store for their phone and they'll have their own themes that they they make and people can have you can have like free themes you can have dynamic themes on the Galaxy's theme store you can have third-party apps that sell themes if anybody remembers the app Zedge, if you download if I if you download Zedge on Android, Zedge will have themes. You know, there, there's lots of different ways you can get themes and wallpapers. Well, no, 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 no. I take that back. Zedge does not have themes. They have wallpapers. Samsung is the only um, place. The Samsung's theme store or Galaxy themes or whatever that store is called. Anyway, I'm trying to say that Apple needs to have a theme store. Oh. Me trying to talk about something is like driving down a like driving down a bumpy road blindfolded. And that's kind of that's kind of what I'm trying to do. I'm just. YouTube videos are just too prepared and too, like, like Johnny Carson, Johnny Carson-ish. And that's, I'm trying to be a little more regular, everyday person. They're just way overdone. But a anyway, back to the iPhone. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm, it's just me rambling at this point. There's no, there's nothing cool about the iPhone about the new iPhone there's no there's no cool wallpapers there's no themes the camera is 48 megapixels which is cool but I, I haven't I have yet to test that I might test that I did run some benchmarks I downloaded a, a 3d benchmark and something called A-N-T-U-T-U. -T -T That's another benchmark app I downloaded. I thought about making a video about benchmarks and tests and stuff and throw in the Galaxy Fold 4 that I dropped. But I, I, don't, I don't know if I would have... Yeah, I ran each... I don't know. It's too much work. Cause I, I, I ran like a, it was like a storage test, and then a touch sensitive, a multi-touch test, and then a like a a, VG, a VGA test and a grayscale test and a storage test and this test and, and then. I did like, I would start the test and record it and then stop recording it and then start a new recording for the different, for each test. And then I have to like splice them all together if that's the right word. 
So I, I don't know if anybody wants to see a benchmark test. I could edit all the videos together. It's a lot of work, though. I don't think anybody cares on my channel about benchmarks. But yeah, I, I'd like to see a foldable phone. Oh, and if I didn't mention, uh, there's still no Red Pro Max. Red is my favorite color. Red is one of my favorite colors. I mean, let me let me let me show you how much I love the color red. Okay, do you have lights in your room that can do that? That's how much I love the color red. Where where is? I want a red iMac. I want a red iPhone and a red iPad and a red MacBook Pro and a red Apple Watch. Gosh darn it. Sure, that's it. I'm 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 gonna go. Hopefully, um sometime in the future I plan on getting a little table in here and I wanna use one of my action cameras as a uh, a second camera. I don't know how that's gonna work. So like like when I like I can mess with my phone and I can do jump cuts so that squirrels have something to look at. There's no nobody knows how to just sit down. Anyway. Bye. Come here, Lou. Say goodbye, Lou. Lou. Say goodbye, Lou. And my little Lou we got. Oh, uh -huh.